The Legend of Daniel Boone. Fact, fiction, lore, all of it fascinating and uniquely Kentucky. We'll examine a few Boone attributed items here at the Kentucky Historical Society, trying to get closer to the man rather than the myth. It's impossible to separate Daniel Boone from Kentucky. He's an icon to our history. Um, he's that symbol of the frontier spirit, his ferociousness as a hunter, his life as a frontiersman. But most of all, that idea of coming through Cumberland Gap, um, leading settlers um, into Kentucky. In the Kentucky Historical Society collections is a painting of Boone looking over the land of Kentucky. Um, it was not an unpopulated land, and his relationship to the native tribes was relatively complicated. But it somehow also led to that legend that becomes Daniel Boone. We have a number of items in the Kentucky Historical Society collections related directly to Daniel Boone. When the remains of Daniel Boone and his wife Rebecca were moved from Missouri uh, to Kentucky here in Frankfurt, um, as they were relaying the remains in the, a new casket, a plaster cast was made of the top of Boone's skull and then um, made into this model of the, the top of his skull, um, perhaps for research reasons. But we actually have that cast, that plaster cast here in the collections. There's some other items in the collection that are attributed to Daniel Boone, our connection to him, that isn't necessarily such a strong story. We have a piece of tree where his name is carved in. Now we have no idea if he actually did it or someone else did. We also have Daniel Boone's rifle. The only problem is that, first of all, the name is spelled incorrectly, and I'm pretty sure Daniel Boone might have known how to spell his own name. Um, but also, the weapon itself was made too late for Boone to have actually used. So even though we're fairly sure that most of these items were not made or, or used by Daniel Boone himself, um, they show that um, iconic figure that people want a connection to, that they uh, claim that this is somehow um, part of Kentucky's history um, because he is such an important part of it. To learn more, visit us online at history.ky.gov. From the Kentucky History Center and Museum in downtown Frankfurt, I'm Doug High.